We know the markets can sometimes be at odds with the news of COVID-19 surrounding us. Yeah, it can be exhausting and tricky and uh, irritating to make sense of it all, <laughs> that's for sure. So our money expert, Dustin Smith from Wealth Enhancement Group, joins us now live on Skype because, Dustin, you've done the work. A lot of us just have decided to cover our eyes and not look at this mm -hmm. until it's all over, right? Yeah, yeah, sometimes that's the right thing to do. All right, well, you tell us the market has actually made up about two-thirds of its losses. Is that right? Yep. Up, well, up until the last couple of days, right? Yeah. So oh, we've been sure, seeing Dustin. A lot of volatility, but we have been uh, <laughs> coming off where the bottom was for sure. Yeah, the oil situation right. has caused another kind of plummeting of the stock markets, right? Correct. And you know, I think one of the things that we do in, uh, in the public is sometimes we try to equate what's happening in the economy to what's happening in to the stock market. And they're really different things. Mm -hmm. Because you think about it, Dustin, investors a lot of times just think out long term. So at this point, they, they know we're going to have a recession if we're not already in one right now. They know that the businesses are going to be closed for quite a while. So they've already priced that into the market. But that mm -hmm. doesn't mean that the market's just going to keep going back up. Correct, right? So you, you were right. So the economy is based upon what's happening right now, today, right? Where, as you were saying, the stock market, investors tend to be looking out, not just what's happening with current earnings, but what they expect those to be in the future. And they're not always right. So right now, when we have a lot of uncertainty, uh, we tend to see a lot of volatility because investors may not be fully confident that what they had expected those prices to be are right. So that's why we can see you know, the stock market go up quite a bit and be pulled back and forth as new information comes about. And this really goes to timing markets is kind of a fool's endeavor, right? right? Certainly for the average investor. Correct, yeah, exactly. So we tend to think that you know, markets in a very short period, you know, six months, even one year, it's really anyone's game. I think it's very difficult to try to quote unquote time that. And so that's why you always need to be thinking about the very long term. Uh, this has been a really good reminder of why, in fact, stocks are long-term investment and not a short-term play. So, Dustin, uh, for people who are listening to this, is there anything that they can do right now? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, sometimes you hear people like us say, hey, don't do anything. Well, you know, you should actually be uh, likely doing some things. So, we think it's very important that you should be talking with your advisor or looking at your portfolios to see if you should be rebalancing some things. because. You know, when prices fluctuate, your portfolio um, strategy is likely off kilter. And so by rebalancing it, you may actually be able to buy in some of these stocks at a lower price than you would have in the past. Hmm. Also, we think it's important uh, to be looking at, you know, making sure that you have money set aside for short term needs hmm. so that you have the time available to let the stock market recover. A couple of good tips there. Right. Dustin, thank you so thank much. You. We appreciate it. We know. Awesome. Yep. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Dustin. Uh, we know.